It's been almost uh, an hour. 40 minutes is how long you're supposed to leave this mask on. I've already done the light stem to uh, speed wound healing, but I'm just gonna peel this, this mask off. And my face feels really good. It feels calm and uh, less irritated than it did before. The, the peeling is, is kind of fun. There's no pain here. It's just strange. I'm using the same tool, uh, the same applicator to uh, apply the mask as I'm using to remove it. it comes off pretty easy. Um, I did the same thing yesterday with the mask. I should have left it on a little bit longer yesterday, but uh, I think it was more evenly applied today as I get more familiar with how it works and more comfortable with it. Uh, I do think this is something that I'll be recommending for my patients because I think it helps and uh, they'll do it once a day uh, during the healing process, which will be better for them and ultimately better for me because uh, my patients will be happier that they'll have better results. You know, uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting on different topicals. I'm testing out which topical works better on my skin, which is much more sensitive now that I've had the procedure done than it was before the procedure because I had intact skin. Now my skin is damaged, but it's healing. And the goal of the healing after I had the laser, which created a hole in the skin and burned the skin, um, it also heated the skin and by heating the skin, it tightened the skin and the holes in the skin, uh, when the skin responds, uh, those holes, um, the skin heals by tightening that up. And the goal of this laser is for fine lines and wrinkles. We use it for scars. We use it for uh, large pores. This is my third, I believe, CO2 laser. And I probably won't get one for another year or two, but Dr. Cotter says I need one every six months. Anyhow, that's it. That's, that's the, uh, that's the deal. You can see here as it comes off, I'll be wetting these areas once, once it's done, but it's not painful. It's just odd. It just feels odd chunks of mask everywhere. Yesterday when I did it, there were chunks of blood in the, um, in the mask. And today, right here, so that's it. Off to the clinic now to find different topicals to try to see which moisturizer and which serum and which nectar or which biogel or bio cream works the best to calm the skin down and to uh, improve wound healing.